Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because look what came in the mail. Da, 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 da. I am so excited. Like y'all don't even know whenever I first started watching YouTube videos, um, Tati was one of the first ones that I watched and um, it was so eye-opening to because I was never a makeup wearer and um, she was so knowledgeable about it and um, she just opened my eyes up to so much about makeup that I never knew and little did I know that makeup would be um, such a great stress reliever for me with um, if you um, have been watching my channel you know with Hanley going through all of um, his issues with seizures and stuff makeup has been such a great way for me to just relieve stress and um, just sit down and not worry about um, things that are going on and um, it, it just helps me to cope so she was one of the first ones that I watched and I am like just so excited um, so I am going to be a little biased uh, because she's um, I think she's a great person from what I can see on the internet of course I don't know her personally but from what I can see she's wonderful I haven't opened it this is my first time trying it so um, just pulled it out of the packaging here and here it is this is the palette and we're gonna open her up this is my first time open it up oh it's so pretty look at the big mirror of course I have watched um, her videos on the palette with her um, with her and her sister and I've watched some of her Instagrams um, but anyway so this is these are pretty much my go-to colors too so I'm just gonna do a quick little tutorial on it uh, of course I'll continue to play with it and let you guys know how I like it um, but so we've got matte shades we've got sequin shades we've got metallic shades and we have glitter shades the first um, shade I think I'm gonna go into is this um, shade the matte soothe shade here I'm just gonna do a little swatch oh it's so creamy I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but it's so creamy Okay, so I'm going to dip into that first with a big fluffy brush. I think I'm going to go in with um, my Morphe 505. Dip into that. I love this big mirror. That's like such a huge bonus because you can take this to travel and you don't have to worry about packing any other mirror because this you can see your whole face with this. So. That was one dip, if you guys can see, one dip into the palette. And I'm just doing windshield wiper motions and back and forth. And that was a very, very light dip. So I'm going to go back in and darken it up a little bit. One more dip and back and forth windshield wiper motions I already have my base completed at the end of the video I will tell you guys what all I'm wearing in case you're curious and I'll also post it in the description box that is so pretty like just by itself <laughs> I feel like it did such a good job so pretty but Tati is so knowledgeable about makeup, like, I just would have been super shocked, like, super shocked if this was not a good eyeshadow palette. Okay, and I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye, back and forth. Windshield wiper motions. I'm trying to go up a little bit above the crease, because I do have hooded eyes, so I like to go a little above the crease for my transition shade which is what we're using this for back and forth and I'm just blending both sides now you know 
If you've watched my channel before, I've stressed it. Blending is key to eyeshadow. Any eyeshadow look that you're wanting to do. Okay, so I think we'll go back into that Suze one more time on this eyelid here. And again, I'm just blending both sides. I'm going to take a step back and look at each side. I need a little bit more blending, I think, on this side. I cannot help but raise my eyebrows. But it gets me wrinkles. But it's okay. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with a little bit more uh, the denser brush. More of a um, tapered brush here. And I'm going to go in with a deeper shade. I think I'll go into... I'm debating if I want to go into the Ritual. I think I'm going to go into the Ritual Sequin shade, actually. This shade here. Oh, that's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, I think I'm going to go into that shade, but just very lightly on the outer edge of my... There is fallout if you're worried about that. That's nothing about, nothing that concerns me. But if it concerns you, just a heads up. So I'm just going in the corner here and packing that shade on. And then just kind of going up into the crease a little bit, ever so slightly. And I'm going to try to keep the out, or outer, inner portion of my eye more open so we'll do a lighter shade there okay and I'm just dipping back into that sequin shade again Let's see if you guys can see just stamping that into the corner and bringing it into the crease I think that looks pretty good I'm gonna bring it in a little bit more on this eye let me tap in just a tiny tiny hair just to bring that in a little bit more. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. Love it. Now I'm going to, I'm just swirling off any of that um, first shade that we used that was on my M505 brush because I don't have two of them. <laughs> um, but I'm just taking any of that excess um, eyeshadow that may have been on it. And then I'm just going to take and blend those two shades together just so that there's a good uh, blend there because you don't want any harsh eyeshadow look. Okay. And I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take a lighter shade to go um, in the inside. I think I'll take the metallic shade in shade Aurora or no, let's see. So I am going to go in with the metallic shade Aurora. I'm going to do a little swatchy with that. Oh, it's so creamy. Let me see. I may change my mind. Okay, I did. I changed my mind. So for the middle of my eye, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to do the metallic Soothe shade, and that is this shade here. And I'm going to take that just on more of a flat eyeshadow brush something like this I'm gonna take and dip into that metallic shade and then we're gonna go in and just tap that in the middle of my eyelid I don't know if you can see but I'm just tapping that in the middle okay and then we'll do that on this other eye same thing just tapping it Oh, that is so gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, just in the middle. Perfect, perfect. Now, I'm going to take a smaller brush, more of a um, pencil maybe brush. I don't know, this is my Morphe M321. The other brush, that flat brush, that was from my... It was from my BH Cosmetics br uh, brush set, the Royal Affair. And then um, the other, this tapered one is actually from my $1 AOA Studios video. 
it was a ten dollar brush set and i love this brush um anyway so now i'm going to take this um m321 and i'm going to tap in tip tip <laughs> tap into this aurora metallic shade which is this shade here you can see tap into that and then i'm just going on the inner corner oops sorry Not but i'm going in the inner corner here see if you guys can see i'm just looking in my mirror oh yeah that's cute and then i'm going to take my finger and tap back into that soothe metallic shade and just tap it in between that aurora shade and just kind of to blend them together a little bit Okay, and we're going to do it again on this other eye. And you know what? I think might work best if I spray a little setting spray on that Aurora Metallic shade. Let's see how that works. Yeah, I think that worked better. Let me see. Yeah, definitely. Okay, spray a little bit more setting spray. Tap into it. Ooh. setting spray I did use my Morphe setting spray and then okay. and now I'm going to bring that Aurora shade down into the into my corner of my eyes here if you see that how I'm doing that that looks good now I'm going to take a little glance at my eye look looks pretty so now i'm going to take just on the outer portion of my eye here i'm going to take on a flat brush this is another one of my aoa studio brushes i'm going to take some of first i'm going to take some of soup and drag it on the bottom lash line and i'm just if you can see i'm just going kind of to the middle of my iris here I'm not gonna go all the way in perfect now I'm gonna take that same soothe shade again on the other eye beautiful and now I'm gonna take a little bit of that metallic um, soothe shade and just pop that on the very very middle of my bottom lash line i love it okay so now um in my waterline i'm gonna put on some of this la girl instant stay auto liner and that just goes oops sorry you guys can't see but i'm just putting that in my waterline kind of makes my eyes look open open bright Okay, so now I'm just gonna go put on some eyeliner and mascara and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I put on some mascara and I put on a little bit of eyeliner, but I didn't wanna take away from the eye look itself, so I didn't put on much eyeliner. Um, but this is the final look. Oh, and I put on lipstick too. But So I will um, come up a little closer so you guys can take a good look at the eye look. Um, so this is from an amateur makeup person, whatever you want to call it. Um, so the eyeshadows were definitely easy to blend. Um, they were very pigmented. I had no problems, um, with any of the eyeshadows that I used. Um, no, no like huge issues. The only thing that I did notice was some fallout. Um, so if that's something that really bothers you, but I don't know a whole lot of eyeshadows that don't have fallout, but in any case, it does. Um, but I absolutely love it. I'm excited to try some more of these colors here, like for fall um, and more winter looks. So I'll definitely keep playing with it. And I love this huge mirror. This is gonna be so great to travel with because it's so thin, but it is heavy heavy like it's got some weight to it so it's definitely it feels great quality um 
I'm excited to see what else she comes out with. So I absolutely have am enjoying it. I want to keep playing with it. Um, real quickly, I'll tell you guys what I used on my face today. Um, so for primer, of course, I used my Elf Poreless Putty Primer. For foundation, I used this $5 Believe Beauty Foundation. I love it every time I use it. It just Full coverage beautiful um, I contoured for with my oaks on you wet n wild contour stick love it um, I used my wet n wild translucent setting powder love it I used my color pop blush sticks in the shade uh, 25 8 I love it um, for bronzer I love this um, Too Faced uh, natural lust bronzer I used that um, for highlighter, I've just recently purchased this and I love it too. And it is the e.l.f. Um, highlighter, what's it called? Gleam Glow Beam Highlighter Palette. And I love it. And actually, I meant to do this earlier. I'm going to take a fan brush. Just kind of mixing these um, two golden shades here. And just kind of making my collarbone glisten a little bit here um but if you can tell i mean it is such a great highlighter i love highlighter um for under my eyes to set i did use my wet n wild bronzer um what is this reserve your cabana i use that to set under my eyes it makes them look brighter love it um, as you've seen in the video, I did use my, um, where is it, the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. Um, this is like a, uh, what shade is this? I forget what shade it is. It doesn't say. But it's like a cream nude color. I don't know. I, I think it makes your eyes open up. Um, and then I used my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and the um, Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner. And I think they're both in black. I know the, this is in black. And yeah, they're both in black. And then for lips, I used my um, L'Oreal Color Rich Matte um, Eyeliner. I mean, a lip liner in Matte It. And then for lipstick, I use the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Sin Nudes. So I think that is everything. Oh, and I use my Morphe setting spray to set everything. So I think that is it. Again, this is the eyeshadow look. I really enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed the palette that is, um, but I feel like the eyeshadows turned out great. If you like this video, make sure you give it a make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed subs I can't talk I'm trying to go too fast because my battery's about to die I'm trying to talk too fast but in any case make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you all in my next hopefully next video bye y'all